Hello everyone and welcome to this build video of the Knit Eurorack module from Antumbra. So the Knit is a DIY clone of Mutable Instruments Plats with a form factor of 6 HP. I bought this kit from Pusherman in the UK and it's also possible to buy it as a PCB only kit. But with the component shortage situation we are facing right now, I decided to go for the version with all the SMT components already soldered in place. The kit comes with a painted 2mm aluminium front panel that looks really nice. The PCBs are packaged in ESD bags and bubble wrap. There are two PCBs with all the surface mounting already in place, and the SDM processor is flashed with the software. That is good because I don't have any circuit programmer for the SDM32 yet. There is a power cable included in the kit. I noticed that there is no strain relief on the connectors, so I might replace that one with uh, one of my own later on. Finally there is a bag with all the through hole components like pots, jacks, key tops, posts and screws. The kit should contain SMT LEDs for backlighting of the jacks, but those were missing in this kit. However, that is not a big issue for me, because I wasn't planning on using them anyway. There isn't a lot of build documentation available, and that's why I decided to make this video. Pusherman's website contains pictures of various stages of the build and the finished module. I will put the link in the description. All the potentiometers are the same tall trimmer type, and they also have the same value. Board to board interconnection are done using regular head connectors. There are also some two colored LEDs and Thonky Con jacks. There is also a two pin connector that I'm not sure what is used for, but I will attach it to the board anyway. The three pin connector and the jumper is for the jack LEDs, but since I'm not going to use that, I will not mount this. Finally, there are two tactile switches with the uh, key tops. But it's time to get started with the build, so let's go! When soldering board to board connectors like this, I find it easiest to put it together beforehand and solder them to the PCB one leg at a time and check the alignment before I solder the rest of the pins.
Next is the tactile switches. Make sure that they are properly seated before you solder them. They should snap in place. The posts or standoffs are two different types and the length differs a little bit, but the one with the screw should be facing the front panel and the other one should connect between the PCBs. The jacks and pots are next and I soldered one leg of the jacks first before I mounted the pots just to keep everything from falling apart. But you can of course mount both pots and jacks and solder everything in one go if you'd like to do it like that.
The final through-hole component are the LEDs, and this is probably the trickiest part of the build. The body of the LED has a flange with a flat marking on one side, and that should correspond with the marking on the PCB silk print. Put on the panel again and make sure that all the LEDs are resting on the back side of the panel, so they are at the same height. One hole was a bit tight on my unit, so I had to use some force to make it sit right. And now you can attach the key tops for the tactile switches. And the last thing we have to do is to put the PCB board together and screw everything into place. Before powering up, I recommend that you do a check for shorts on the power connecting using a multimeter. After that you can attach the power cable. The red stripe of the ribbon cable should be oriented towards the white silk print marking on the PCB. So, the only thing that is left to do is to do the calibration of the 1V per octave input. 
You go into calibration mode by pressing both buttons for 3 seconds. The topmost LED should start to fade in and out with a green color. Set the voltage to 1 volt that corresponds to the note B0. And after that you press any button. The LED should change color to orange. After that you change the voltage to 3 volt. This is the note B2. Press any button and the calibration is now completed. Thank you for watching and I hope this video has been interesting. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.